Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee. How are you guys doing? <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to show you how I refresh my hair on the setting tutorial where people were like, how come you didn't show us how to take it down and blah, blah, blah. But I, it's two separate videos. I linked it in the video, linked it in the description box, but people thought I really left them hanging like that. And I'm sorry that you guys thought that, but no, I didn't. There's two different videos and there's a get ready with me video. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to link those videos um, here or in the description box. But if you haven't checked them out, definitely check those out. Today we're doing a extension of those videos and I'm going to show you how I reset my hair. So the first thing is, and I keep on looking at myself because I'm just so in love with this hair. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Alright, so what I did is um, I used um, a spray bottle with leave-in we have leave-in in here, we have rose water, water, glycerin, and I think sweet almond oil. But I'll put the recipe up so you can see it. I think I'm going for you. So I sprayed a little bit of that on the ends of my hair. I basically went section by section. I didn't spray it all over my hair. I took like a small section and held the hair, sprayed a little bit, just on the ends of the hair, worked it in a little bit. You use that devil up in the red dress, got dressed and redressed your boutiques. I took my three L's to I then used the Curl and Hanson Mousse from Design Essentials, the same product that we used for the first video. Um, I used this on the ends, and then I did a two-strand twist. So when you gon' poke that thing out for real play, no I'm talking by She said that a brain vibrates way higher than the games that I'm playing now. Oh my god. And at the bottom section of my hair, I use these gray rods. These are the small ones that work wonders on my hair. I use these at the ends. At the top, I decided to try bigger ones. And this was a tip that was given to me by Curls and Couture. She said she uses two different sizes at the top and the bottom. And that did make a big difference in the style. So thank you, Courtney. <laughs> if I noticed that hair was coming off and it wasn't laying properly, then I used my Alec Hay Naturals Curls. Um, I mean, Curling Delight. It's creme brulee from Allocate Naturals. This stuff is amazing. It's basically like a gel. There's a lot of um, ingredients in here. There's aloe vera, there's argan oil, and almond oil in here. So it really moisturizes and helps with styling. So I love it. Um, so, yeah, so I did that at the ends if it wouldn't lay properly. I want to waste all my time with you. And um, once I was done, I didn't, you know, get under a dryer or anything because our hair was pretty much, um, it wasn't wet, it wasn't, and it was kind of damp, but it was product damp, not like water wet, you know, soaking wet or anything. Um, so yeah, so after I was finished, I used my... Well, this is Taylor or Sky's bonnet. I don't know whose it is. I lost mine. These are from Florbella Boutique. They're satin bonnets and they're amazing. So yeah, I slept with this um, overnight and then today I took it down, which I recorded the process of me taking it down. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that portion of the video. I have 18 twists in my I'm head. I'm gonna put a little bit of jojoba oil on my hands. This is a very moisturizing oil. We're gonna highlight this um, soon on my other um, series of videos on ingredients, but we're gonna just put a little bit of jojoba oil. All right, so we're just gonna start taking these down. Hopefully it looks right. I'm kinda nervous. All right, so they're all out right now. So now we're just gonna take the two strand twist down. That's what a wheezy talk. And that may never lie. You worry about that. Alright, so that's stage one is just taking them all down. 
And just as like a tip for you guys, I know that some people, especially people who just went natural, they would take their hair down and they would be kind of feeling the curls, but they would just be like, ugh. Like, natural is not for me. <laughs> but this is not the style, you guys. This is not the style. Some people maybe would want to rock their hair like this for a few days. But don't be discouraged if when you first take your hair down and it doesn't look flawless like immediately. Like, you have to do more. So the next step is we're going to go through each section. And I think I'm going to separate each section like each one of these I'm just going to separate it once and we're going to see what it looks like because usually I separate like five times <laughs> and then I end up just having a fro so I'm going to try my hardest just to separate each section one time so let's do that and try to separate it where it naturally wants to separate don't like force it Why don't you get money? that's what Khalifa taught me I think I have them all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the center up first so it's out of the way. So what I'm doing is just going into the root and lifting the root a little bit, but at the same time I'm fluffing the curls out to make sure there's no curls hidden. Because you know how sometimes our curls just hide underneath like... Like this curl is this length, but it may be like hidden. It's good to pick the root um, in the direction that you want the hair and then just finger search for the curls to make sure they're all coming out how they're supposed to. Again, I'm going to try not to mess with these curls too much but as you can see that's already a big difference in what we had just a few seconds ago all right that's as good as i think i'm gonna get it right now without taking the curls out because you guys know i will go crazy with this hair pit all right so now i'm going to put the hair where i want it i think i want a kind of like a bang so i'm just going to pick it just a little bit not too much because these curls are good. Alright, so we're all done, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely love, you know, refreshed hair. Again, because the hair is refreshed. It's stretched at the same time you can add products at the ends to make the style um you know look like you just did it <laughs> so yeah i love this look um and for all of those who wanted to see what it looked like down this is my type of down <laughs> i don't really like i said i don't like when it looks so shrunken because it seems like there's no shape um so when your hair is a little bit stretched a few days old i feel like you have more control over your strands. So that's just my personal preference. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope that I gave you lots of tips. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the description box. I read the comment box below. Um, but anyway, you guys, thanks so much. See ya. Mwah. I think I'm cold